Yo, 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 what's happening, people? Okay, so I want to talk about Fate the Winks Saga, which is a series on Netflix. And if you're kind of thinking right now, Fate the Winks Saga? What's that? Well, it's a, it's a series on Netflix. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I didn't know what this was until maybe about a week-ish, week and a bit ago, where I just happened to meet somebody who works on the show. And I won't uh, base out their name just in case, um, <laughs> just in case they don't want me saying it. For all I know, they could have been scarving off work. So uh, let me not say who it was. Um, but yeah, I just happened to meet somebody who works on the uh, show and we're talking and um, mentioned that they uh, were on the show. And, you know, I'd never heard of it, but I thought it's on Netflix. I can check it out, watch an episode or two, see what it's like. Um, and so I did. I watched the first episode and I was like, oh, actually, this is pretty decent. Let me watch the rest of it. Um, and yeah, I've got some thoughts I'd like to share. It's not really a review or anything. This is not, not going to be that well thought out. Um, but it's just something that, you know, just has some thoughts on the thing that I, that I want to share with you guys. And that's pretty much what I'm, what I'm doing right now. And so I'm not going to get into like spoilers and stuff. Um, I'll just say for now though, it's a show about a fairy school, a school for fairies. Um, so yeah, it definitely has the Harry Potter vibe to it. Um, and they do mention that as well. So it's very self-aware that it has that kind of Harry Potter vibe. Um, especially in the beginning of like the first episode, it has that Harry Potter vibe. First couple of episodes had the Harry Potter vibe to it. After that, I feel like, you know, the similarities between Harry Potter and this pretty much go away. You know, it, it definitely does its own thing. Um, and it has this, uh, it's mainly about this girl who, oh, how can I say this without spoiling it, is raised by a family um and then in, in the human world and then taken to this school in the fairy world and is discovering things along the way i think that's a good way to describe it like giving away too much um but the thing i really want to talk about though is that because the show does a lot about secrets and trust and you know thinking you can trust somebody but it turns out that you can't and as the story develops you find out there's more to it than you originally thought and as more characters come in uh, get involved and they're telling their side of things you realize there's more to it than originally involved and it really goes back and forth between what well, can you trust this person maybe i can't trust this person maybe i can't trust this person you know so it kind of goes back and forth a lot with who can you trust um who's got your back does anybody have your back can you trust any you know, that that kind of thing and i feel like that sort of stuff really connects with how a lot of people live our lives you know a lot of us live our lives like we go through periods where you think somebody is cool and you know you're down or, or they're down you know you can trust them that you can hang out whatever talk about whatever and then that very same person you know as you go along you, you find out there's more to it and maybe you can't maybe maybe this person's kind of an arsehole and then maybe later on you're kind of back to trusting them again i feel like we kind of go through that with people and with with things and certainly when you look at like jobs like you know if you have a job where you kind of feel like you know a boss or whatever where you kind of feel like yeah i can be here and then um later on you're like no i can't be here it's too much for me but then later on you're like yeah now i can do this i can do this so i feel like we we do this throughout life without realizing like going through these periods of trust and mistrust and i don't know like i, I mean it's, it's just how we live our lives is that is that a good thing is that a bad thing is, is it just a thing is there is there anything you could really do about it and I, i'm not sure there is you know i'm not sure there is something i mean because ultimately it doesn't really come down to you a lot of the time how we feel about people for the most part is how they are to us not necessarily how they are in in, in general because how they are to other people is always going to be what it is right um but how are they are to us and that changes for that time and it's not always something that they do deliberately you know people aren't always it's not you know it's not like like tv shows are always going to have like this um dramatic thing right and it's not always like that in real life i feel like it's sometimes it's just they people go through things in their own lives and that causes them to behave a certain way and then they go through other things that cause them to behave a certain way. So they're not necessarily out to get you. You know, it's not always that deep. <laughs> you know, it's not always that deep. Sometimes you're just the innocent bystander that got caught in the crosshairs or crossfire of somebody else's thing that they're going through. And it wasn't necessarily intended for you to, 
you know, have that experience and it just is. But ultimately, how you ex interpret that is, well, is this a good guy? Is this a bad guy? Can I trust him? Can I not trust him? And then later on, I think I can. I think I can't. I think I can. I think I can't. So, yeah, it definitely, I think the show definitely does connect with that side of life about how things unveil and how we feel about things in different stages and how we um, ultimately interact with things in different stages and how we... Uh, how much we divulge to something because you no, know, we can meet somebody and you ever have that feeling where you meet somebody and you just feel like you could just talk to them about anything and maybe sometimes you do just literally open up to them right there and then then afterwards it's like should I have done that was that a good thing and uh, you, you you never really know you you never really know unless it comes back and bites you in the ass which hopefully it doesn't um but yeah that is a lot of how I think a lot of people go through life and experience life just this times of trust times of mistrust and probably the same how people feel about us times they can trust us times that we can't and then things that we go through that change how we interact with the world and how people interpret that so um yeah i thought that was uh, i thought that was interesting wanted to uh, uh come on and share that uh, thought with you guys i'm also this about, about the show that i feel like it, it suffers from the same thing that a lot of modern day shows suffer from which is the i don't know if there's a name for it i'm going to call it the six to eight episodes curse <laughs> that might not be a, a a catchy title but i'm going to call it the six to eight episodes curse because like you know back in the day um i guess it was a 20 plus episode curse back in the day because tv shows typically had you know, like 15, 18, 20, 25 episodes, you know, um, as, as for a full season. And when you had that, the, the issue was keeping people engaged for 20 plus episodes, because that's like six months, you know, if you're doing it weekly, right? Um, and this is, you know, before Netflix and everything else. So you couldn't just binge watch it when it came out. You know, you had to wait as they released it. So one episode a week, 20 something episodes, that's about six months worth of uh, viewing, uh, worth of TV. And keeping people's attention over that period of time could be difficult, right? So um, you had like this story that developed over 20 something episodes. Um, but then oftentimes the story itself wouldn't really warrant 20 plus episodes. So you'd have other episodes that didn't quite connect with the story. There were sort of these filler episodes and they weren't necessarily bad depending on the show. I mean, they might have been, but you know, they weren't necessarily bad. It's just, you had these episodes to kind of fill in the gaps. Now it's like episode TV episodes are like six to eight, a CV shows are six to eight episodes because there's just so much more choice. Now you've got Netflix, you've got uh, Amazon, you've got uh, Disney plus, you've got, you know, hulu if you're in america you got so much more choice now apple tv right so to have a series that's 20 something episodes i mean i, I want to say it can't be done um but it's going to be difficult to keep people's attention because it's not just about having a really good story over 20 something episodes it's the fact that it's 20 something episodes and there's other things you could be watching so i get why series now are shows now are six to eight episodes it makes sense but now the problem is, how do you tell a story over six to eight episodes? And I feel like there's very few shows that get that right. You know, um, a lot of shows tend to feel like they skip around. They feel like they um, moving too quickly. You know, something happens at the end of one episode and at the beginning of the next episode, it feels like there's a whole gap, you know, and they do explain it in dialogue, but it, it just feels like there should have been more visual storytelling within that time and it just kind of goes from this bit to this bit and then somebody's saying oh yeah such and such happened and like oh okay i, I guess i guess we're here now you know so it does, it does, i feel like this show does suffer from that it doesn't quite it does feel like it's moving uh the story a bit quickly at times um so it doesn't quite nail that six to eight episode story arc uh, which is a shame but overall i still enjoyed it and i thought what they did was pretty cool and especially as it does get to the end of it um, and there is a season two confirmed so as it does get to the end of it i feel like they did enough to close off the story of this season while still leaving a lot open for the next season so it's like okay cool we've got something that lets us know what happened here and we do have a complete story although you know kind of skipping around a bit this still is a complete story but then 
it is leaving stuff open quite a bit open uh, for the next season which i think is a really cool thing to do for series for any kind of show to do close it off you know give a complete story but leave stuff open for the next season that you could explore um i think the next season is due at the end of the year actually um so that's something to look forward to um but yeah no i, I thought it was really cool um i, I really like the whole thing about trust and how you can place or tr where you place your trust and how everybody has a story to tell um as the story kind of develops and everybody has a backstory everybody has a motivation um everybody has a reason to be there and it's not just about the main star and her story it's like everybody has something to tell um and then you see how this all connects with the main story so yeah it was really cool um and yeah yeah just uh an interesting uh take on on how we navigate life um but yeah that, that's uh that's wanted to share on 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 fates the wink saga uh for anybody who wants to check it out it's a, it's a decent show um for anybody who doesn't want to check it out well that's 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 your choice <laughs> i can't do nothing about that um but yeah it's a decent show i thought it was a decent show so yeah um check it out for you if you are so inclined uh but yeah that's going to be the end of my rambling about fake fakes uh fate the winks saga um let me know what you think if you've seen it and you drop any suggestions recommendations in the comments uh send them through and i see what i can do like share subscribe because we're doing this thing you get me if i've got more videos on the screen check out my other channels as well be much appreciated but that's gonna be it for the minutes so guys until whenever if ever peace